So, All right, thanks, Crazy Joe. Later, guys. Hey, Later. Sean, someone has a question for you in the chat. What What's happened to your TV show that you was do were doing? Oh, no, it's still in active development. So I signed a development deal, an 18-month development deal with a company called Global Genesis Group in Los Angeles. They, I signed that deal. Um, we started negotiating last August. It was finally signed on December 13th. So I'm like seven months in to an 18-month development deal, which means they still have time in the next 18 months to get the full funding, the whole nine yards, and get the thing going. Now, the writer's strike and everything just kind of put everything to a halt. Uh, and so, you know, I'm looking at an 18 month development deal, but it looks like, like the last couple of months are nothing like er actually from the first of the year, when everyone was talking about the writing strike, like nobody wanted to make moves. Nobody wanted to develop anything and, and make anything. So we're just kind of like holding on. And then Paramount, I, I know you've been hearing about Paramount. Uh, they've mm -hmm. been, They've been hemorrhaging money. They're having a tough time. They lost 500. They had to write down $500 million uh, because they're losing money on their streaming service. And I think you're getting, by the end of the year, Paramount Plus will be gone. Uh, all the content will be absorbed by one of the other ones, e either Amazon or somebody they're going to start. Or Disney? And, oh, uh, I, I don't think Disney. No. I don't think I think Amazon would be a good fit because the, the Paramount Plus is already integrated in the Amazon Prime. You get just the channel. That's all. I, I don't even go yeah. pay Paramount. I pay through Amazon. Yeah, it's pretty, I, pretty easy through there. And so, and so, um, uh, right now, um, Paramount is going to sell, is in the process of selling uh, the uh, BET, the Black Entertainment Network, which is which is own, it's owned by the parent company is Paramount, uh, and they're talking to Tyler Perry uh, right now uh, to possibly purchase it. And we were hearing that June, sometime in June, a deal may go through. And uh, the Global Genesis Group, the company that I signed the deal with, they've had uh, three feature films and a TV series all sold to BET Plus, their streaming platform. And so we want to be on BET Plus with Ballistic, my show, um, but we're waiting to find out what happens with Tyler Perry because right now their streaming platforms – uh, BET plus has a kind of a cap on what they'll spend per episode and the director who has signed on to, uh, direct the pilot and play a part in the show, uh, wants bigger budgets. Okay. So, so we're waiting to find out if Paramount sells BET to Tyler Perry and if Tyler Perry says, yeah, and we'll increase the budget based on who you have directing and, and being in the film. And we, we have somebody pretty damn cool. Uh, and so, so Paramount and, won't and I can't talk about it. Paramount won't have their GI Joe Transformers movies that they're working on. No, Paramount will still have that stuff. But what I'm saying is they won't have their streaming platform. They'll, they'll be they'll, just like Sony. Sony's the smartest company on the planet right now because they don't have a streaming network. And all they've been doing is selling their content to other streaming platforms. Like all the Spider-Mans went to Disney because they're all on Disney Plus. And like they don't, they're not hemorrhaging money. They're actually in the, in the, in the black. They've been kicking ass all this time while going to hang out we're not going to have a streaming service we're going to keep doing the old school we're going to make something put it in the theaters and then sell it to the networks to be on their streaming platforms or on network television so sony is the smartest company out there but also people forget that sony also makes televisions they make the playstation they make so sony is not just a um a movie company they're an entertainment company and they they were not going to put their toe into watching all these people borrow billions and billions of dollars to make content uh, and chase each other's tails. So um, Sony's the winner, but Paramount, th th they can't keep up with the, the deep pockets or the deep borrowing pockets because you know, they've got deep pockets. Uh, you know, I think the only one who's really just got more money than God is Jeff Bezos with, with Amazon. Yeah. Um, so... Have you heard anything positive about these strikes and any progress or do you think it's um, going to be a while? The, all right. So the, the Screen Actors Guild, uh, uh, what's today? Today's the fourth. Um, mm -hmm. uh, I think their, their vote tallies come in on the seventh 
from all their actors. Uh, um, and there's 160,000, 168,000 Screen Actors Guild members. Uh, so they're all going to tally up all the 168,000 votes and find out if they'll get a strike authorization, which means that they don't have to strike, but it's a threat. It's like, you know what? The WGA has already struck. We have the threat capability right now to strike. The, the DGA, their contract is up on June 30th at the end of the month. The DGA usually sides with the studios because the studios are the ones that deal directly with the directors and the producers to kind of get their projects off the ground. So the, the DGA will probably cave on all the stuff that they want to do or come to terms pretty close to what the studios want to want to pay the directors. But the actors, I think what will happen is they'll get the strike authorization and I think we'll see um, the negotiation to really start going and get done before the WGA strike on the 30th. And then it'll all be done and everybody will be back to work sometime in uh, late July, like all the shows. Cause my, yeah. my show, my show is with these. It makes sense with these other things coming up that they might want to see what happens with those first before they even finish the first one. Yeah. You know, it's kind of like they're all uh, symbiotic circle here to see what happens with these two, these other ones that are coming up too. Yeah. And I think once that goes through, you know, the last strike in 2007 lasted a hundred days. We're a month into this one. Uh, and we'll see what happens when the strike authorization comes down. But a, a year ago, IATSE, who is the union that controls the carpenters, the electricians, the grips and the hair and makeup, those kind of things, they, uh, they had strike authorization, all their members voted and they had strike authorization, but by midnight that night, and they, they didn't strike. They just had the authorization to strike. Mm -hmm. By midnight that night, they signed a new deal with the mm -hmm. producers. So it could very well happen like that once SAG gets their their uh, strike authorization. And the problem, and again, because like when you have someone like James Gunn, who is a writer, who's a director, now he's a studio head. I mean, I don't know how any of that works, but the the thing about it is if if any so if the dga goes on strike or the writers are still on strike like he gets paid through all these revenue streams yeah. so it's it's in his best interest to solve these things because yeah. it's hitting his own pocket it's it, not like, and the industry doesn't want to go into fourth quarter still being a yeah. strike right before mm -hmm. 2024 without getting right. any productions and things greasing the wheels yeah and and, and that's and, gonna be bad they, they could very well do a lot of unscripted reality shows this fall and and it may take some time to get things caught back up but the the main thing that the studios are aren't aren't like crying over when the WGA struck is because they could cancel all their development deals and that's a lot of money being shelled out in development deals to different uh, people to develop projects and they they could pull the plug and they did they they've been pulling the plug on all these things I um, think the um, DGA re reached a tentative deal today. Did the, they? Yeah, it's on. Um, I just saw it on NPR. That's great. Oh, that's good. I, if we have, I haven't that. seen that. I've been busy let's, today. I haven't let's, seen. Let's that. pull that up. That's good news. Hold on, let me find it. Yeah. Well, I really do help. I do hope everyone in the industry. Uh, I really appreciate people working in the entertainment industry. I love entertainment. I think I say entertainment saves people's lives. You know, it, it, do, it I, does. It's escapism. It yes. does. And I, you know, I my last show was uh, season two of uh, The Summer I Turned Pretty on Amazon, and I wrapped that November 9th. I have not worked since November 9th of last year. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we were supposed to do startup season three. We, we were supposed to the first day of filming was supposed to be July 10th. And then I would be on that show all the way till December. And uh, they, they right now that the production office is there uh, at the studio in town, but they're not, you know, they were going to have construction workers going and and building sets and doing things. Hmm. Striking writers respond to DJ's ten of deal with studios streamers. What does it say? Yeah. Well, you could just play the article. Striking writers respond to DGA's tentative <laughs> deal with studio. Well, this is important. So let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. That was, that was with it. issues including protections against the use of mini rooms and span, the WGA still has a number of proposals on the table that are not going to be impacted by the Directors Guild's deal with the AMPTP. As the Writers Guild enters its second calendar month of a strike, 
a key alliance in its fight for increased residuals, wages, and AI protections, has struck a deal with the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers. Okay. In a tentative deal that is poised to be submitted for approval Tuesday to its national board, the Directors Guild of America spent all day Saturday at the table and reached a tentative agreement with the AMPTP just before midnight Sunday. The three-year mm. agreement sees the 19,000-member guild receive pay and benefits gains, increases in global streaming residuals and protections against mm. the use of artificial intelligence, which okay. sources to say was the That's last sticking point to a deal that came after less than a month of negotiations with the AMPTP. The okay. DGA's current contract, along with that of SAG AFTRA, expires June 30th. Mm -hmm. The actors' branch currently has members voting to authorize a strike should its negotiating committee call for one. As one of its key talking points, the Writers Guild of America has stressed unity with other guilds in its ongoing strike against the AMPTP over such issues as streaming transparency wage increases, and AI safeguards. While the DGA was wildly expected to close a deal with the AMPTP and avoid a strike of its own, the tentative deal, dubbed historic by its leadership, has not gone over well with members of the Writers Guild. Thrilled that the DGA was able to use the power of the WGA's labor action to secure a deal that works for them, writer Amy Berg, Jack Ryan, Warrior Nun, wrote early Sunday. We proposed a number of these terms before the AMPTP cut off negotiations in order to hand a deal to the DGA. They will continue to not speak to us, offering them next to SAG. Mm -hmm. But we have needs in areas they don't, and will secure a deal that works for us. This isn't it. Also keep in mind that SAG is due to announce the results of their strike authorization vote and getting this done quickly is an attempt to undermine its impact. Mm -hmm. Between that and the strike, the DGA was situated well to get something that works for them. For them, not us. The WGA hey. issued a statement on the DGA's tentative new deal on Sunday. We congratulate the DGA Negotiating Committee for getting a deal they are recommending to their national board for approval and presumably will then send to their membership for ratification, the WGA said. Out of respect for the DGA's ratification process and in recognition of not knowing the contract language they have negotiated, we won't be commenting on their deal points. Our own bargaining positions remain the same as they were on May 1, 2023. Okay, okay. Well, it's, you know, it's, again, it's kind of what I was just saying earlier. The, 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 the DGA works very close with the producers because they bring their prod, you know, th those guys are hand in hand together. So I, I, I think I even commented that they'll probably take whatever they give them uh, and, and negotiate it. And, and so, wow, that's, that worked out great. Thanks for bringing that up because I, I was not aware. Oh, no problem. Um, that that had happened well, so that's you know that's something that's you know uh, hopefully it's moving for you know we want everyone to get back to work uh I, the a lot of people to, there's supplemental people that rely on the entertainment industry too you know these theaters need constant movies and right now it's really thriving in the theater the theaters are doing good yeah you know? but the, you got to remember though everything that's in the theater now was shot yeah, yeah. a year or two ago and now yeah. it's it's you know so it's not like there's stuff that's waiting there's stuff waiting in the wings where where things get iffy if we keep sh the strike going is like a year from now that's yeah, yeah, when yeah. like yeah. well if you're not making shit now it's not going to show up next summer you know that's the key and that's like um the summer i turned pretty season that's 2 true. uh that i did last year drops this month and then we're supposed there's to be, be filming yeah in order to get it next june on amazon and sometimes so. that could really hurt a show even if it's good if there's too much of a gap sometimes people drop off yeah yeah they should release batgirl yes i no. think so i don't think so. I'm, i <laughs> uh, i don't know <laughs> well this is a great conversation sean we're, we're happy to see you too man we wish the best for you and your family it was great to see that your family loved the little mermaid 
Oh yeah. Um, you know, so hopefully you're getting some time. I, I saw you taking advantage of some of your time off too. I think you went fishing. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Deep yeah. sea fishing went out riding a bike 13 so miles. Good job, yeah. man. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 I so, flew up to a friend of mine's house and, uh, um, uh, one of my buddies that I, uh, actually he was, he directed the movie that I produced years ago and, um, we've been friends since we're 16 years old and I, I flew up and hung out with him and just had a good time, you know, up in Maryland. Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. We're probably going to end because it's midnight for me and I got to get, I got to get relaxed for work tomorrow. And it's hot in here. I hear you. I have no job right now. No, actually, I, I take that back. I'm actually starting a movie on Tuesday. Um, oh, okay. Uh, cool. It's a, it's a small film. I'm trying not to talk about it, but uh, I'll talk about it when we finish it. Um, yeah. But uh, because no one's really supposed to be. <laughs> There are movies shooting all around this country yeah, yeah, yeah. that but are being some, done some, on the down low. Yeah, but um, some some are getting stopped too. The some productions, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're not trying to get stopped. This one that we're shooting, so yeah, yeah. Uh, but anyway, um, so, so my content's going to slow down big time for the next five weeks. I'll probably sure, not have wish anything, you, wish you, anything. Wish you the best, man. Wish you the best. All right. Hopefully, Take care. hopefully, Good night, guys. We'll, hopefully, we see you back and this will be over. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> But I'm going to bounce out, too. I'm going to hit the sack. So Okay. Well, good night, everyone. Thanks, Sean. Go check night, out guys. Sean on Twitter and YouTube. Uh, to go check out Taladia, CJH, and Bruce.